Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is We Can 3 and today inshallah we will cover the second enrichment which is Enrichment 2. And it will be presented by me, teacher Mazen Harbi and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz al So let's begin. The second enrichment we're going to cover today is for the, uh, the uh, unit number 11 hanging out in town and our first lesson is uh, finding out time that can be seen on pages 82 and 83 and our goal uh, was to build up questions and answers about directions so in this uh, lesson we did uh, learn how to ask and also uh, how to talk about uh, places what are the phrases that we use when we are describing places for example, if you want to know a direction of any place, we usually start your uh, question with Excuse me, where is? Excuse me, where is? And then you can name uh, the place uh, that you are planning to go to. And after using this, you can hear or you can see different answers uh, about these places. So what is important here that when you start your question, excuse me where is the supermarket or excuse me where is the bookstore or excuse me where is the train station then we said that we read a couple of examples about uh, how to uh, describe places and what are the phrases that we can use to talk about places we can use uh, for example the word far the place you're looking for it's far from here or it is uh, near here so we have word uh, far and near and also we can talk about minutes we can say that the place is uh, five minutes walk or the place is around uh, the corner so here we have uh, different uh, places or different words we can use to describe these uh, places and after this we did the learn that if you want you and your partner you can choose or have a look at the town map you have in front of you and then you can give directions for example uh, you he or she would say excuse me where is the post office and by looking at the uh, at the map you have on your books especially from the yellow circle then you can tell him or her about the place like for example go straight you will find it on your left or go right so you can use the yellow circle to describe the place to your uh, partner and also we said here here we have a couple phrases that uh, can help you when you're talking about or when you're describing or when you are giving directions to different places and these uh, words or these uh, phrases are these uh, phrases are like go straight keep walking, turn right, and uh, turn at the next uh, signal, and turn left at the second corner, and also other phrase that we did learn that you can use to talk about directions, like the place is on your right, or on your left, or in front of you, or behind you, or it is uh, the opposite of the bus stop so here we can we do have different places and different uh, phrases and words that we can use when we are giving directions the second uh, lesson we had was called the grammar in action on pages 84 and 85 and our goal where and uh, our goals where in this lesson is to use going to in sentences and also to say six names of stores to say six names of different uh, stores so we begin our question with chanting the word uh, going to now let's listen to this chant one more time just to remind ourselves how we did use going to we use going to to talk about the places that we are going to the places uh, where uh, we are uh, going to buy different things. For example, here in the first one, if I want to stabler and stable, where I should go? I should go 
I would say I am going to the stationery store to get this stapler and staple. So let's listen one more time to this chant about uh, going to and then we uh, will uh, back again. Number one. I want a stapler and stables. I am going to the stationery store. Number two. You want some candy? You are going to the candy store. Number three. My brother wants a new DVD. He is going to the DVD store. Number four. Mom wants some bread and cakes. Well, she's going to the bakery. Number five. We want some books. We are going to the bookstore. Number six. Grandma and Grandpa want some flowers and bugs. They are going to the flower store. So here in this chant with these six sentences, we did learn an important lesson, which is that we can use all of these different subject pronouns with the going to. We can say, I am going to the bookstore, or you are going to the bookstore. He is going. She is going, we are going, and they are going. So no matter what the subject we can use here, we keep it as it is and we add to it going without making any changes. And after this, we had a game that is called uh, the shopping game and we said that you can have your friends or your classmate as your partner to play this game. What you're going to do here is to play the shopping game and to ask him or her, where are you going? So, he or she should choose uh, from this uh, list. Here we have uh, nine different places. These places are bakery, DVD store, butcher shop, stationery store, bookstore, convenience store, coffee shop, flower store, and supermarket. So we can, you can ask your partner to name a place out of these places by asking, where are you going? And he or she, when uh, choosing a place, then you can ask him or her the second question, which is, what do you want? Okay, you choose a store, you choose a place, so what do you want? What do you want to do in this store? And he or she can choose from these places, like for example, a stapler, or some candy, or a new DVD, some bread and cakes, some books, some flowers and bugs, some meat, a newspaper, and uh, some eggs. So you ask your partner these two questions, where are, uh, are they going and also what do they want to do? And you can switch rules. You can be the one who answers uh, in, uh, to play this game. And after this, we had the reading and writing a lesson that can be seen on pages 86 and 87. And our goals were that uh, we should, uh, we are able to read and chant. There was a little greenhouse chant and to write our own version of this chant by uh, changing uh, or using our own pictures and changing some words. And we say that it is important that we learn that when we say there is, we mean that there is uh, something in the present. And the best of this sentence is there was to talk about something that was in the past. Now, let's listen to this chant. There was a little greenhouse. And after this, we're going to uh, highlight some of the uh, important information. There was a little greenhouse. There was a little greenhouse. And in the little greenhouse, there was a little brown house. And in the little brown house, there was a little yellow house. And in the little yellow house, there was a little white house. And in the little white house, there was a little red heart. 
So here in this chant that talks about uh, house, we said that you can make your own version. You can write your own chant. And how you can do this? By changing the word house and replace the word with either of these words, like box, fish, doll, bottle, book, and letter. And you, we said that you can also present it with pictures of your own, so you can uh, have or develop your new chant. So we said that you can also write and draw your own chant, as we can see here. Here we have another example. Instead of saying little greenhouse, we said big white house. And you can choose uh, this chant as uh, an example of the new chant that you can uh, produce. And we said that you can talk about the rooms in your house and to uh, use them to fill in this chant. And finally, the last lesson we did learn was called the phonics lesson that can be seen on pages 88 and 89. Now, our goal was to practice words with U, E, and also U and E, words that uh, it starts uh, with U and ends with E, and also two letters uh, combined together. We said that the difference between them, between words uh, that has U uh, in the beginning and E at the end, is that we pronounce U in full, as in full vowel. So here, for example, for the first word, it is, uh, it is pronounced as cube cube and also the last word here we have when uh, u a e when it ends uh, with the word uh, we it is pronounced as uh, barbecue barbecue so here we have uh, cube barbecue and after this we did have uh, this interesting lesson where we had to unscramble the letters as you can see here we have the letters that do not uh, form an understandable word. What we need to do is to try to use the letters here to form or to write a word that matches the picture. So here, have a look at this picture and try to guess. Can you tell what the word uh, might be by using a couple of these letters? Well, if you remember, we said that the word is tissue, tissue. And here with the second word, here you have uh, this uh, beautiful baby, and here we have uh, letters. And we said that, try to have a look at this, uh, 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 this picture and try to think of a word matches these letters. And we did this, and the word was cute, cute. And as for the third one, here we have a color. And can you look at this color and at these letters and tell me what exactly that color is? It was uh, blue, blue. So the three words were tissue, cute, and blue. Now also the other three words we have the same. The first one is one of the days of the week. Can you remember what that day is? It is Tuesday, Tuesday. And the second word we have here to talk about how big this uh, elephant is, we have the word that is huge, huge. And the, uh, the other word that we have here, if you have a look at the picture, and also if you have a look at these letters, then we can come up with a word which is uh, glue, glue. So here we said that these are the three words that uh, we did uh, use, which is Tuesday, huge, and glue. And this is, uh, will leave us with the last word here we have, as if you have a look at this picture, and at uh, these uh, letters then, you can come up with a word which is mosque, mosque. So these are, or this is the exercise that uh, we did the answer last time in phonics, where we added the uh, practice words with the U and uh, E. And after this, not only with words, but e not only with letters, but even with words. As you can see in this exercise, we said that we need to unscramble the words and write a full sentence, begin with a, a capital letter. So we said here, uh, as you can see, here we have uh, different words. And what we need to do is we need to form a sentence out of these words. And the sentence uh, was, 
this one, which is, we like to have barbecues in our garden in June. We like to have barbecues in our garden in June. So here we did unscramble these words and formed a sentence a, a, as you can see here. Also, we did it with the other example as you can see here in this uh, blue box where we had more than uh, nine words and we did form a sentence out of these uh, words. And the sentence was this one. My friend gave me a huge bottle of glue. My friend gave me a huge bottle of glue. So this is how we did these two exercises, where in the first we did unscramble letters, and in the second we did unscramble words to form a full sentence. And after this we had an exercise about uh, science, where we said that you can read and predict these signs. He, uh, these signs. So here we have the first one is no parking. The second one, to be away or to keep off the grass. And no skateboarding, no riding bicycles, no talking, and library is straight ahead. And also, number seven, please switch off all mobile phones. And with uh, number eight, think green. Do not litter or throw waste. And with number nine, no eating. It is not allowed eating or drinking. And with number 10, no bowling. No balls uh, around uh, here in this uh, area. So now, this is all about uh, our uh, enrichment, the second enrichment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.